Place your vote as Municipal Election Day is now coming to a close, and we have team coverage of today's vote from all across the Midlands. A number of races of interest tonight, from Irmo to Columbia to Blythewood, and that's where we're going to begin in Blythewood. A lot of focus there on the mayor's race, the first election there since Scout Motors announced plans to relocate or locate in Blythewood. Let's find out what voters were thinking tonight. Walker Lawson is there tonight with the details. Walker, what's going on? change has been made here in the town of Blythewood as council member incumbent Sloan J. Griffin III has won the mayoral seat. He beat out mayor incumbent Brian Franklin. We spoke with him just a few moments after he found out he won. He said his first mission is to tackle transparency. Uh, making sure that we don't revert back to where we have been um, in the last two years. So going through the proper training. We're all going to go through Robert's rule of order training to make sure that we're properly carrying out meetings. So we got some things internal, but when we get finished internally, and I want to make that quick, we out here and we're going to be serving the people. We're going to get those answers to the Scout Motors questions for people back there. We're going to go to work on these issues. Incumbent council member Donald Brock Jr. was reelected and Andrea Fripp will now join as a new council member. Voters in Blythewood also had to cast their opinion on a referendum that was to either keep all of the council members at large or to make them single district council members that was shot down by voters. So all council members will remain at large reporting in Blythewood Walker Lawson News 19 WLTX. All right, Walker, thank you. Now